Once again, this is Chef SK. I'm your host, Sean Kelly. Super happy to be with you today. Super happy to create a nice meal for you. We have some barbecue chicken thighs over our bacon collars, a little bit of onion, some warmth from some radishes and coconut milk, and we top it all off with a little tang of my radish relish. Got some friends coming. Super exciting cocktail for you, little watermelon, little mint. Stay tuned. All right, everyone, so now a dish that is super near and dear to my heart. We have some of my homemade barbecue sauce and my barbecue rub. This was topping off everything at my barbecue restaurant when I had moved to New Jersey and set up on the beach, catered for a few years. But let's do a little rendition here. So first we're gonna get going with marinating our chicken. There is no mustard in my barbecue sauce, so we are gonna start this with a little bit of Dijon mustard. Just about two tablespoons. We're gonna go salt and pepper in here. Not too much salt because we do have some in the rub. Always know what your spice blend's got so you're not overdoing. You could always salt at the end there. Heavy black pepper, because that's what we do. Barbecue rub in here. Just one dollop of our barbecue sauce. We'll be finishing this one off with barbecue sauce at the end in the pan. So we're just gonna get this mixed up. And while our hand is dirty, what we're gonna do, what we have right here, is we're gonna be putting a little bit of bacon down in the air fryer. The reason I'm doing it in the air fryer, I wanna collect a lot of that juice. We're gonna be finishing um, some collard greens with our bacon and a little bacon grease we're celebrating today. All right, a little bit more barbecue rub, but we're also gonna finish these out as soon as they come out of the pan. We'll finish these with a little bit more. This has a nice amount of brown sugar, helps with a little bit of caramelization in the pan. We have our onion here. This is what is going to saute down and start our collard greens. And we are going to keep a little bit raw as well. We're gonna do a cool little relish for you. We got some fresh radishes, onions, and a little half sour pickle. White vinegar, mayo, that kind of brings the whole dish together, adds that tang to the richness of this barbecue sauce. Since my hand's already a mess, let's uh, get your bacon going on here. Throw your bacon down into your air fryer. We're just gonna do about four or so slices down on here. Let's start this off 360, and then we may have to jack it up just a little bit. Get that crisp on there. All right, chicken marinating. Bacon's just getting started. We got our hot pan back here. We're gonna put down a tiny bit of olive oil, get our onions started, and we're gonna reserve a little bit of chopped onions for that special relish that we had uh, talked about before. So just straighten half with this. Go pretty thin on this chop here. This is a uh, Vidalia onion, nice and sweet. Rough chop this onion pretty thin. We'll get everything diced up when we move on to our relish. And the reason I wanted to bring you a fresh radish in the relish is because next to the collards, we're gonna have a nice creamy radish with a little bit of coconut milk and soy sauce, actually. That just really rounds out the dish, and it'll surprise you how it backs up this barbecue sauce here. All right, everybody, the oil's on, nice and hot. We're gonna get our onions down, get ready for our collard greens. All right, guys, we're gonna sweat these down just a little bit, probably about five, six minutes. We're gonna put our collard greens down, hit it with our spices. Gonna be using a little mustard powder, a little chili flake for some heat, a little bit of brown sugar, and some of our barbecue rub. We'll finish it off with our bacon and our bacon juice. Let's go. All right, it's time to pull out our bacon. Done and done, nice and crispy. Paper towel. As per usual, catch that grease. And then I have my other ramekin here that we're gonna catch all that uh, goodness that's hanging at the bottom of that air fryer. Cool, let's check out our onions right here. Probably about time to throw our collards down. 
and we'll get our spices in. Then we're gonna get going on our relish for you. And we have a special, special cocktail today. Some alcohol you may not even know about. Watermelon, mint, nice little garnish. We'll get to it. All right, time to throw your collards down. We're gonna put a little bit of mustard powder, like I said before, some of that rub, cover it up, steep this down a tiny bit, and bring it all together with the bacon. All right, mustard powder down right here. This is that Coleman spicy yellow mustard, kind of almost reminds you of a wasabi, so be careful with this, just a pinch. We got a little smoked paprika and a little Korean chili flake here for a little bit of heat because remember we are going to balance with a little bit of brown sugar that's in this rub. We'll finish this off with a little bit of fresh garlic. We'll add a little bit more oil to this one. We're going to get this mixed on up. So for me on this one, I went with collars, just put these down, but you could use any greens in this recipe. You could go with your kale, your chard, your rainbow chard, whatever you need, but just know your greens, know the consistency of them, knowing that collards here need a little bit of time. So we're gonna watch the moisture on this, get them just the texture that we want. And now we're gonna move on to your radish relish with a little bit of white onion. All right, and as always, seasoning as you go, everyone. This whole entire dish, actually, we're gonna be seasoning right when everything comes out. So when this is nice and warm, it's gonna melt down a tiny bit of that sugar, give a nice little caramelization at the end, and back up that crispy bacon that we got. Time to radish it up. So I'm gonna show the radishes two different ways. We are going to put it in our radish relish with our half sour pickles and our chopped up onions here. But let's first get these ready to go on the pan. This is that creaminess that I'm adding to the dish. This is a little bit of coconut milk with the radishes, tiny bit of soy sauce. Let's get these chopped up. Just in half. Pretty small dice on these. Have a bowl ready to mix your relish up. I got a hot pan behind me with a little bit of olive oil. We are gonna put a little bit of onion. Let that go for a little bit, then we'll drop down our coconut milk. We have a little bit of fresh garlic over here. We are finishing our collards with the fresh garlic. And a little bit to go at the end of these radishes here. That chicken is in the fridge marinating up. Once again, that has this Dijon, my homemade sauce, a little bit of rub. And we have our collards just on low back here where we will be putting our bacon to finish that all up and hit it with a little bit of spice at the end. All right, so we finished chopping our radishes here. We're gonna throw them down in our pan. We have our oil hot there. We're gonna go with a little bit of onion and then we're gonna get moved on to our radish relish. So let's get these in here. These will cook down a little bit and then we are gonna finish them with a little bit of the garlic that we have here that will also go on the collards. So we're gonna throw these radishes down and we finish them with a little bit of coconut milk and that soy sauce. And what this does is add that creaminess to the dish to play with all the richness and the tanginess of that relish. So let's get these down. Got our collards back here. These are just on warm right now. We're gonna finish those with our bacon and our little bacon fat at the end. All right, so I'm just checking on my collards down here. We're gonna sweat down our radishes. We have a little bit of onion in there and let's get to chopping some of the fresh over here. All right, so a little bit of tanginess to just top off this dish. We'll do a little sprinkle at the end. We're gonna be using a little bit of the white vinegar. We have some raw cane sugar up here, tiny, tiny bit of mayo, and you're gonna go heavy on your salt and especially black pepper. So we have our radishes out here. We'll get these chopped, have a little bowl next to you to mix on up. 
These are really, really small diced everything here. This really brings the whole plate together. I even sprinkle a little bit on the other finished radish, the creaminess underneath. Really brings out the tanginess of the uh, white vinegar here. All right, radish is almost finished. We'll move on to our onions. I show radishes a lot of different ways, but I like to show you how to use ingredients on the same plate in different ways. Maybe I got pork coming two ways. I got radishes two ways. Stay tuned. All right, so everything in your bowl here. These half sour pickles, one of my favorite pickles that we do, my favorite in the whole world, sour gherkins. I'm not really into sweet pickle, but um, these ones here have more of kind of like a cucumber flair to it. So it's not gonna have that dill pickle taste. I think that would um, kind of clash with the barbecue sauce on this one. And this white onion could be a little bit pungent. I've had this one actually um, for a few days in the fridge, so that white sugar is just gonna take the, uh, the edge off there a little bit. We'll roll my radishes up, sound like they're getting a little high. I'm gonna put the lid on these, sweat these down a tiny bit more. Collards a stir. There's gonna be a lot of little relishes, a lot of little dips coming in a couple episodes to come. I wanna call it the, uh, the uh, crudité episode. So we're gonna be doing a, a long braise on our main there. And then I'll surprise you with some fun little snacks we got up front. All right, so you got your half sour pickle down here. Add it to your relish. Dice that white onion. The smaller the better on the onion. That'll be the smallest component of this one. We do have a little of that fresh garlic I was talking about before. We'll press that down, add it to both of our pans in the back there. Not to burn the garlic, but to get a nice sweetness on them collards. All right, onions looking good. Salt. Heavy pepper. Got some fun stuff. Got some cocktails coming with some uh, smoked black pepper pretty soon too, a little bit of pineapple. So we got, it. we got some things in the works for you guys. All right, white vinegar. Tiny, tiny bit of mayo. My favorite mayo in the whole entire world, just mayo, it is vegan. We're gonna go with our white sugar, not too much off the top, just a pinch, and we'll see how tangy this relish is coming out. Mix up with a fork there. This might remind you of kind of like a, a coleslaw dressing when it really comes out. I do all kind of slaws, I'm gonna be showing a uh, a red cabbage slaw. We're gonna actually do a slaw with some of our barbecue rub pretty soon, so a lot to share with you. All right, so this relish is looking good. We're gonna give this a taste. I know with me, it's always more black pepper, especially for color with these red radishes, real nice. Now, I don't want this too creamy. I like all my salads a little bit more on the vinegary side. Let's give it a go. Definitely still on the, a little bit on the tangy side. Maybe I got a little extra from that vinegar on my pickles there. So let's go a little white sugar like I thought. And a little bit creamier with a tiny bit more mayo. I'm a mayo freak. I'll be showing you some aiolis, some vegan mayo, some cool stuff. Right, and always with the relish or a coleslaw or anything like that, you taste it, you gotta see where it's at, but give it a second to set up and uh, let those flavors marinate. Might be, uh, might be a surprise when you're ready to plate. Okay. 
relish right where we wanted it. I'm gonna be back at my stove, putting my coconut milk down on my radishes with a tiny bit of soy sauce, finishing up with the garlic, tying together our collards with the bacon, and serving you some barbecue chicken. All right, it's time to finish up at the stove, everyone. We're gonna be adding a little clarified butter to start with this chicken. The richness really backs up nice with the Dijon mustard and my homemade sauce that we got on there. We'll let that go, and in the meantime, we will finish up our radishes and our collard greens. So like I said before, to finish up our radishes, turn your heat down just a tad bit. We're gonna go coconut milk. Drop the soy sauce. We're gonna go a little bit of our barbecue rub. Tiny bit of smoked paprika and that chili flake. This is the same how I kind of did on another episode when I had put the, um, the fish sauce into my curried white beans. So you just want to balance. A little bit of tang, a little bit of stank, a little bit of cream. All right, back over to our collard greens over here. Like I said before, we are finishing up with our crispy bacon that we took out of our uh, my favorite Bella Air Fryer. We'll crumble up this bacon here. Get our little schmaltz bacon fat down and down. Our butter looks ready. We'll throw our chicken down in just a second. Make sure both these pans are on low. These are kind of just going to keep warm until we finish the plates in, at the end. I'll cover my radishes up here. And you have a nice amount of liquid with the chicken here because of the Dijon and the rub. Butter's going to be nice so nothing sticks on us. Down we go. We're going to plate these probably just one chicken thigh per plate right on top of the collards. You got the radishes on the side there. And we're gonna finish it off with a little bit of the sauce, a little bit of the rub, and make you that watermelon mint cocktail. That's next. All right, we just put our chicken in here. We got our pans turned down. We're gonna put in a little bit of the fresh garlic into the collards, into the radishes, and then it's time to have a little watermelon mint cocktail. We'll get there. Almost time to eat everybody, but we're gonna wet our whistles first. Dante, Jess, thank you for being with me. Singer, songwriters, production extraordinaire. So thank you guys for being here with me. I'm gonna mix you up some cocktails. We have our watermelon mint with a little bit of kiwi. And today we're gonna to be using some interesting um, alcohols. So we have um, ancient, ancient Chinese recipes actually, but this one here is soju. So about a 20% alcohol, not 40% like a, like a vodka, like a sake, um, a little bit lesser. We're gonna be mixing up some of this watermelon here with the mint, straining it through our nut milk bag. You're like, what the hell is it doing yellow? But I do a lot of turmeric and some crazy concoctions at the house. So that's what this is. And we're gonna finish it off with um, mock goli, which is actually a little bit of a cloudy, sparkling um, rice beer. So a little bit of weird stuff, but uh, it's gonna be creamy. Good. Yeah, <laughs> fresh, and we'll get to it. So your mint and your watermelon go down. I appreciate you guys coming out. Where'd yeah, you say you live? Where do you say you're coming from? Uh, I'm in Manhattan. Manhattan? Yep. Good and good. 
I'm upstate. Upstate? Whereabouts? Woodbury, New York. Woodbury. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's like the outlets. That's what people yeah. do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's why I say that. I had, a bo I had a boss that, yeah, I had a boss that used to travel all the time. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know much upstate. But we passed some nice houses come around here. There's some nice yeah, places nice. around this area, yeah. So you're just going to want to do a dash of water in here, just enough to kind of get this going. Uh, a lot of water in the uh, watermelon, so you don't got to really worry about it. And this is the way, honestly, a lot of uh, mixologists out there, they're making all different tinctures and steeping things down, but nut milk bags make you look pretty serious. I say uh, strainers, nut milk bags, and blenders make you look like a chef, so. <laughs> Chef-esque, you know? <laughs> So we strain this through the nut milk bag. We're gonna add our liquors to it, blend it up one more time, right over ice, kiwi garnish, and then we'll get plated up. Jess was saying how she likes kiwi, so at the last minute, I put a little bit in this mixture. I wasn't going to, but it's gonna add a little flavor, a little bit of sweetness. I don't know how, uh, how ripe that uh, watermelon is. All right, we got our watermelon and mint strained right here. I'm gonna pour it right back in to our blender. We're gonna go about six ounces of our soju. This is the stronger liquor that we got going. We're gonna save our mock goli for the end just to top off to kind of give it that cascading effect. Blend this up one more time. All finished blending, nice little froth on this here. Right over ice. Second drink of the day, but my first was a mocktail. <laughs> we did some cool ones earlier this morning. All right, we're just gonna do that little sparkle, little bit of bubble with our uh, Mac Goalie here. This sits at about a 6%, 8% um, alcohol. So this finished is probably about like a wine, 13%, something like that. Finish it up, bubble me up. <laughs> and it's a cool one. I never even tried this one myself, so why not? That's right, cheers, cheers. it up. Yeah, to new friends, to people like us, right? <laughs> Thank you. Mm. Oh, that mint is fresh. Yeah, not bad at all. <laughs> I appreciate that. Thank you, guys. Yeah, nice and frothy. Yeah, it could be a tad bit. Yeah, right? Could be a tad bit on the sweeter side, but that's why your cocktail is your cocktail. So tweak as you do. All right, well, you guys enjoy your drinks. I'm going to get plated up for everybody and fill you on up. Thank you. All right, plates, plates, plates time. So what we have here, super excited about. Same barbecue sauce that I used at my restaurant for years and years and years. On these plates right here, we got a little bit of creamy with the coconut milk in the radish with the soy sauce. You have your relish, nice and tangy. Richness from the barbecue sauce, all brought together with a little bit of bacon, onion, and let's do. I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you. All right, yeah, thank you. Yeah, the way this cocktail is settling came out pretty nice, actually. Yeah. And I was talking about the greens before. I, sometimes I use kale on this one, but the collar's got to cook down and down and down. So, but cool, right? Really good. Very good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, not bad at all. That's um, boneless, skinless chicken thighs, nothing. You know, you got the, the fattiness from the bacon fat in there. You don't really need any skin on that. So, why not? Yeah, radishes are cool, right? I uh, know. I was talking about that before. Um, I do kind of curry-ish things. Uh, I did like a take on a paella on another episode. Um, but yeah, like I, was, like I would use a fish sauce um, with a coconut milk or a heavy cream. Um, yesterday I did um, a fish sauce with a little chicken sausage in a paella. So yeah, gotta mix it on up. How you guys doing? You need any extra um, radish or a little bit of sauce? I think it's literally perfect. Everything cool? Yeah. yeah. All right, I appreciate it. <laughs> really good. Good and good. Yeah, you have a lot of really different flavors in there, but they all really mm -hmm. work well together. Yeah, Very well. I appreciate it. Yeah, I like fresh, I like sauteed, and uh, yeah, showing two ways. Why not? And the pickled, 
Awesome. Pretty cool, right? Yeah, yeah that was, um, so half sour pickles are, have more of a cucumber feel to them, mm -hmm. um, but we did put a little uh, white sugar until you want, until you want it just the right tang. You know, I really don't like radishes, but this is really good. Yeah, <laughs> I appreciate that. Thank you guys. Yeah. All right, everybody, looks like our plates are doing pretty good. You guys keep working. I really appreciate you guys coming out. Thank you. Thank and you um, for yeah, congratulations on all your successes and hope we can work together soon. Yeah. 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 Awesome, guys. Done and done, everyone. That was a really special one for me. I hope you all enjoyed my dishes. I hope my new friends enjoyed their dishes. Hope you got some tips, tricks, and I'll see you all next time. Stay blessed.